Uh, hello, uh, it's morning time here, so good morning. I'm going to do a video today on creating a special part in Fusion 360 and then bringing it into Advanced Steel. Uh, this video was requested by Gary. I appreciate the interest and uh, let's get started. So I have Fusion 360 open here. It's on the main page. So uh, first of all, it's good practice to save straight away. So I'll just save it in Fusion folder. And I'll just call it uh, export bolt and save. So I'm just, I'm not going to use any measurements or anything. No, it's not going to be an exact bolt. I'm just going to draw a bolt. So what we want to do is it's, it's also good practice apparently to start with a new component. Then inside this component, now we're going to create a sketch. Pick the plane you want to work on. I'm going to create a bolt, so it's going to be a hex head bolt. So go to polygon. We can do inscribe depending on what measurement you have, or we can do circumscribe. So let's just do the inscribe. So we do inscribe, go to your center point, it's always good to lock to the center on fusion. Lock to your center. And let's just give it a let's give it a two inch radius. So two inches. So now I should have created this a little better because it's as you can see it's crooked, so let me do this again. So let's go back. Let's go back. Uh, it's good to keep the errors in the drawing, in the video, just so, you know, everybody doesn't think everything works perfectly. So go back, go polygon, inscribe polygon. We're still in the sketch. So, you know, keep it vertical. Keep going on this line and then do two inches. As you can see, that looks a little better, right? So that's good. So enter. Now we're going to extrude this, so let's do E for extrude, drag this up, do 0.75 for 3 quarters of an inch, so there's the top of your nut. Now I'm, I'm not going to round off the edges or any of that, I mean, I could do that, but let's just keep it short and sweet. So we want to create another sketch here, so create sketch, pick this face, I want to put a circle, so let's just... Do C for circle, pick the center point, come out here and go to, mm, I guess we could do, let's do three inches. Now, this is just going to be like the built-in washer on the nut. So, let's rotate this around. We can go E for extrude, pick the circle, pick the washer part. I just want to go a little bit, so I just want to go like a, a 16th, so, you know, I'll just do 0 0.05 will do. Uh, let's do 0 0.1, so 0 0.1, then you want to join it, so I want these all to be the same body, so you can join it, you can have a new body or new component, so I just want to join it. So now you can see there's two pieces there, or it's actually one piece. They're the two part, the two extrusions I made. So now we want to do another extrusion. So create another sketch, pick the face, do C for circle, pick the center, and then we're just going to draw the shaft. So, I mean, what size do we want it? It doesn't really matter. Let's just pick two. So it's two inch diameter. So there's a two inch diameter. Finish the sketch. E for extrude, pick the center point, drag this up, let's go 4 inches, we'll make a 4 inch long bolt, so there you have 4 inch long bolts, I'm not going to do the knot or anything, you can, I mean maybe I will do the knot, you can do the knot as well, but let, let, we'll just do the bolt for now, so go up here to create, pick a thread, pick the thread, 
it gives you a typical thread. You can go through, I mean, there's different types of threads, whatever you need. You can make your own thread, right hand, left hand, but it's important to press the models because if you don't press the models, it's, it's just a visual thing otherwise. If you do model, it actually, as you can see, it actually cuts it out. So, so there's your bolt. Now go back. If you want to edit any of these features, just go down here and go right click, edit feature. It, it highlights it when you hover over it. So if I go to the treads, edit feature, face, everything is good. Let's go back and just check my last extrusion. Edit feature. This extrusion I did join, so it's all one part. So that's good. So everything is one part. So that's good. So this is now my bolt. So I would do save. Save this as version 2. And you're good. Now you have your part. So let's say I want to bring this part into advanced steel. So now what I do is come up here to the very top. On your, I guess your drawing tree. And go through your list. I right click. Go through your list. Export. So we want to export. Now you can save as an STL file. Which will allow you to 3D print this. Um, we just want to export for now. So let's export. Export Bolt version 2. That's fine. Fusion. And here you want to pick your file. So I'm going to. This is a project that I'm currently working on. So I'm just going to bring it into this project. So. That's fine. I'm going to export. So cancel out of that. It's in the right file. So and then I want to pick what file type I want to export. You can do dot I just dot SAT. Um, I import, I export from advanced steel in dot I just, so I'll just use that again. So pick that file type, double check your folder. Yep, yeah, that's the correct and my, that's my project folder. That's good. Export bolts, save. So let's save that file now. So that's, that's exported that. So. Let's close down Fusion, Advanced Steel 2020. So here's my project. It, there's no reason I'm using this, only it's just a project I'm working on right now. So let's say your UCS is at the origin. So you, when you want to import something, put the origin where you want to import. So I want to import here. You can rotate this and move it afterwards anyway. So what you want to do now is go up here and go to import other formats. This is the one I had. So I had export bolt version 2 that I just select on that. Open. It tells you it's going to work in the background. So you do close. You got to wait. It's going to tell you down here. It's ready to be imported. So just click on it and it'll import it. So now that we just created that bolt a couple of minutes ago. Now it's in the file. Um, if you can see, if we do the distance, it's four inches. And we did a two inch diameter, or two inch uh, diameter, yes, circle to create this bolt. So that's correct. So scale and everything is fine. That's good. I mean, if we want to rotate it or anything or move it, we can rotate it or move it. So that's great. We now have it. It'll be in the drawings. You know, it'll, it's in your model. It'll show up in the drawing. The only problem is if I want to attach this to something. So if I pick, I want to attach it to this railing so that it's on a drawing. If I pick both of these and I add a weld symbol here, that should join these two parts together. But if I show parts giant in shop it's not showing that bolt attached because that bolt was just imported i didn't bring it in as a special part so in order to use this correctly you really want to import it as a special part so what you would do in that case is you could bring this into its own drawing file and save that drawing file so 
you can do it also here in this file so what we'll do is we'll create this as a special part so what you want to do is write a block so click on it and then just do w write block so i want to do a block component one everything is fine uh where do i want the path so click on your path it's going to the right place bare steel okay so that wrote that block so now if i want to import i go over here to my selection go to sorry go to my tools and go down and this here is advanced steel special parts click on that pick a point where you want to put your piece and it's showing you it's showing you it's ready to import it there pick the block name i'm going to browse to pick it component one block already exists so we're right yes it already exists because i've created it i'm putting it back into the same drawing so really what you want to do is open a a dwg file import the bolt then save it as a block then go to your drawing and then bring it back in uh, i mean i probably should have done it that way but it's it's you you get the idea so now i have two bolts now if i try and weld this one to the handrail it should behave differently so if i pick these two pick the weld symbol shop weld go to your your selection remove so we're gonna and that shows as you can see that those two are joined in the shop so as you can see this is what you want to do so you can import it the other way it's just going to be in your model you'll be able to see it but you're not going to be able to weld it to anything it's not going to behave properly so you really want to bring it in as a block uh, i hope this helps if anyone has any questions uh, you're welcome to ask and i'll try and respond with a video or just an answer uh, all right i hope this helps uh, take care have a nice day goodbye